All right, today, right outside the shop, we're working on a TCM. This is an 820 wheel loader, and we're replacing the water pump. And I started ripping everything apart, and I was like, you know what? I don't I think I have any videos doing a water pump on this. Maybe I do. But uh, so what I did was I set everything back up real fast and said, you know what? Let me do a video real fast. So I'm kind of into it already, but I'll try to walk you through it in case you're doing a water pump on uh, your wheel loader. And there's my machine right there. And... Let's hop up here. This is the uh, Suzu diesel engine, the 4BC2 model. Now, looking down here, and hopefully you're at least knowledgeable to know where your water pump is, it's usually always connected to your fan. Um, this did have this guard on here in the front. Okay, so the first thing you're probably gonna do is on each side of this guard, there's a bolt there, and you'll have two on this side. We'll call this the driver's side. There was two, and there was only one on that side. You're gonna wanna lift that up out of the way, okay? Then you got another, like you got the big shroud here, which is gonna be, and I already took the bolts out. Remember, I set this back in just to show you, but there was a bolt there, and you'll see the other bolt hole down the bottom. Now, the one side of this was a 916, the other side was a 15 millimeter uh, to take them out. And you have very little quarters here to turn. So I had a ratchet drive on there and then I got a long uh, uh, leverage bar and I was able to just get like two inches of crank in there to loosen the bolt. And then I was able to get wrenches on there and, and take it off the rest of the way. On the other side, this side's a little bit tighter this shroud because underneath of this core here it's like the bolt is like hidden right behind it I don't know if you can see the hole for it back there and then there's the other one down the bottom so there's two on this side also once you loosen all four of them you'll be able to slide this whole shroud up over the fan and the reason you need to do that is because there's four bolts on the front of that fan that need to come off. Now that fan is just resting there right now. So let me do this really carefully. So assuming you got all your shroud stuff loose already, uh, this fan's probably gonna drop down on me. Um, well, you know what? Let me just pull the fan out of here for a second. Well, we'll set it down. Let's assume the fan is still locked up and uh, still bolted on there. So you got this hose here. You're gonna wanna pull this hose off, take it out of the channel here. And then there's a upper radiator hose that was here. Okay, that's gonna have to come off. This was just a 10 millimeter or a Phillips head. Take that off so that your shroud is able to move without hitting anything. I'll get this little hose off of there. See what I mean? You can get your shroud to move all the way up now. All right, so here's my fan. Now I'm able, I got all this room here to get into the front to those bolts of the fan. Those bolts in front of the fan there, they're gonna be 12 millimeter. They look just like that. All right, they're a little tricky to get to, but they're not hard. They're not reverse thread. Just turn them to the left, they'll come loose. All right, and you can see, I already had it loose, but after you loosen those four up, your fan will come right out. Uh, there's the rest of my bolts out there. Okay, so now you got all this room in here to work with the fan out of the way. Now here's your, uh, your water pump right here. And this, see how much plays in that? Well, that cap just came off, but that's okay. That's our next step anyway. Um, this may feel real tight to pull off, and there's nothing else holding this on, um, but it does pull right off. All right, so basically, that's how we were sitting on there like that. All right, so once you get that fan off, and you're pulling on this pulley, and you think there's another bolt or something, there's not. They just, they just get stuck on there. Um, let's move this shroud out of the way a little more. All right, our belt uh, to loosen the, uh, I 
forgot to mention that first actually um, you're gonna need to loosen this belt up and that is right on the back of your alternator there and that should be a 9 16 just loosen that and you may have to get a little pry bar to go in between the body and the alternator here and pry to shove this thing forward take some uh, tension off of that belt so that you're able to pull that that pulley off um, so now our shrouds a little bit more freely moving there now I have a whole lot of room here and that's where we expose our water pump and you can see see how much play is in that this thing was just spitting water out of there all right so um, this little hose here can come off I already loosened it this is going from your uh, thermostat to your water pump here so that can just pull off like that once it's loosened obviously they're gonna be on there pretty tight you may need a screwdriver to pry them off a little bit and then you have the other one coming off of your water pump and again I already loosened this one pull that you're gonna have a lot of antifreeze coming out so have a catch bucket ready and we are completely exposed now to the water pump we're gonna have a bolt at the top and then right below it there's gonna be another one there we'll come around to the other side and we're gonna have one right down there at the bottom these are all really accessible and we're gonna have another one up there at the top and uh, well, that's where I'm up to now before I decided to start doing this video so I'm gonna go ahead and take those four bolts out and then we're gonna jump back in there we go. now the right side where that uh, thermostat neck is you can see this bolt is a lot smaller than the other ones so keep that separated all right those two came off on the left side this this one came off the right side that was our our bottom bolt and that very bottom bolt you can see it's not quite as long as the other ones we took out and it's not as short as this one it's a little bit longer than that one so those are things you want to keep in mind when you're taking these machines apart because they're that length for a reason don't put it back together right you're gonna have problems now it's time to shake and rattle and uh, make a mess. We're gonna try to jiggle this water pump loose here. And we're gonna lose some antifreeze. It comes. And be very careful because these things aren't light. And you don't wanna drop this on your radiator. Ugh. There it is. That's the water pump. Looks like we got some scraping to do clean up all that surface before we put the new one back on all right now we got the old one up on the bench and before i give you guys any part numbers i want to make sure that this one is the right one because i'll tell you it's hard to get parts for these tcm loaders um let's kind of match these up here let's put them up here um it definitely looks like the right one. Yeah, we look good. I think that'll work, fellas. All right, so the part number on this is... Now I got this from Napa. Um, it says US9302. Now, I don't believe that Napa had it in stock. I think they ordered it from somewhere else. They were trying to help me out to find one. Um, but I did go to Napa, they researched it, found it for me, but if you need the part number, give them that, US9302, or, you know what, look it up online, my Napa says, now, we get a discount here, so this might not be yours, but our total was 125 but with the internet today and Amazon, you might find a thing for 40 bucks, I don't know, um, I just use pretty much the supplier that we have here at our company, but that is the number and it looks like there's also a number on this uh wheel here 1db12d 
case you need that. All right, guys. So basically now I'm going to get a wire brush and a little scraper and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to clean up that base before I put the uh, new gasket on. And it did come with the new gasket with it. And um, we're just going to repeat our steps and bolt it back up, put everything back together. So if you need to know how to put it back together, guys, then just watch the video, I guess, in reverse and you'll know how to put it back together. All right, please hit subscribe below, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comments, and I will see you next time.